everyone, welcome to our online book bag session. I hope you can join us for stories and songs. Um, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, also welcome. The more the merrier. Uh, we also have our old friend, Bookbug. He's going to be helping us today. Maybe you have a little toy, a teddy, a soft toy that you really like. Um, will I give you a few seconds to go and have, go and fetch him? Hmm? Because they might come in handy. They might give us a hand today. So, we are going to start with our hello song. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Ah, yeah, 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 I'm glad that you could come. Ah, yeah, 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 I'm glad that you could come. Great! And to warm up, we're going to have some pickle. Let's start with round and round the garden. For this one you need a partner, either a grown-up, brother or sister, or a teddy. I'm going to partner up with Bookbug. So, let's start. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, take me one there. Okay, maybe on the other hand, or you can swap over with your partner. Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two step, take you under there. Great stuff. Let's try another take you and Book back, you'll demonstrate. Chris. Cross, line, line, spider scrolling up your spine, cool breeze, <gasps> tight squeeze, and tickle you under these, okay, did you get that, shall we try again, maybe you can swap over, Chris, cross, line, line, Spider scrolling up your spine. Cool breeze. Mm -hmm. Tight squeeze. And tickle you under these. Good job, book bug. Nicely demonstrated. Let's put you here. And I think we need to do a little, another little warm up. Warm up our fingers. Do we all have fingers? We do. Let's wiggle them. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle right in front of me. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, then drop on my knee. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle right in front of me. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, then drop on my knee. Good job. Now, do you know why we had to warm up our fingers? Because we'll need them for our next song. It's a counting song. So we have to use our fingers to count back from five. And it's five little Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only Three little ducks came back. 
Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. How did you get on? Did you manage to count backwards? I bet you did. Right, everyone. For this song, I want you to curl up on the floor like a bird and be ready to jump right up, your, up on your feet. We're going to sing Dangle Dangle Scarecrow. When all the cows were sleeping and the sun has gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dangle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy head. I can shake my hands like this. And shake my feet like that. Ooh. Did you manage that? Shall we try again? Everyone curl up on the floor. Maybe I'm going to start slightly higher. When all the cows were sleeping and the sun has gone to bed. Up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dangle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy head. I can shake my hands like this and shake my feet like that. <sighs> Are you exhausted? Good. Time for a story. So, the story today is Robot Rumpus by Sean Taylor and Ralph Collins and I'll be reading it today with permission from the publishers Anderson Press. Robot Rumpus. Everybody ready to listen? My mom and dad are busy. So just last night they said we decided to buy these fantastic robots to get you into bed. I thought they were joking. But dad switched the robots on. Mom said they're the latest models. What could possibly go wrong. The cookbook made spaghetti. I ate the lot of my plate. Cleanbot did the washing up. Everything seemed just great. Washbot ran a bath. It said you will be spit and spam. I got my bath toys down off the shelf, but that's when the rumpus began. Crocodile is my favorite toy. His teeth can really snap, but soon as Washbot spotted him, it got in a bit of a flap. It said, dangerous animal in the water. 
Three warning light, lights, three warning lights flashed red. Then it went and slept into dress bot, who sat down on thief bot's head. Dress bot turned round and round like he didn't know what to do, and thief bot started brushing its head and squirting toothpaste down the loo. Clean bot was whizzing about. It was trying to keep things tidy, but dress bot started putting pajamas on the robot that had to dry me. Cook bot came in and stared. And its warning lights flashed too. Then it nodded and zoomed away like it knew just what to do. I hoped it could sort out the mess. This was getting beyond a laugh. But all it did was cook more spaghetti and tip it into the bath. I know that robots can't cry, but Cleanbot looked close to tears. Bookbot sat with a book on the bed and smoke coming out its ears. And Drybot couldn't manage to get my pyjamas off its head. So in the end, I left them and got myself into bed. I think the robots were exhausted. They crashed around some more, then everything went quiet. Until ah, my parents walked in the door. The place was a bit of a mess. It hadn't worked quite like they'd said. And I don't think they got a good night's sleep. With seven robots in their bed. The end. Now, did you enjoy it? Do you have any robots at home? Not sure if I'm buying one now. So, we have a few more songs to sing. I'll give you the clue about the next one. What's this? Yes, the fiddle. And then we have a spoon and a dish. So which song is it going to be? Yes, you're right. Hey, do do do. Ready? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loves to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Good job. Okay, now, for this one, I want you up on your feet again. Okay, and it's not a song, it's a rhyme. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Okay, everybody listen. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Ooh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, switch off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night.
I don't know if it's bad time now. But um, we're going to sing one more song and it's going to be Baba Black Sheep. Pogba, do you know this song? Of course he does. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy that lives down the lane. Maybe about a little girl now? Black, Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little girl that lives down the lane. Lovely. Now, this is nearly the end of our short session and we're going to end up with our Goodbye song. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you have come. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, glad that you have come. Ay, 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 glad that you have come. Ay, 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 glad that you have come. Thanks everyone. See you again.